all right good morning good morning good evening it all depends on when you're watching this video happy father's day to all the fathers out there today shout out to you guys i am very excited tonight because it's been a long time since i've done breakdowns like this um you know my things are still sort of shapes i'm being sorted out you know so i feel so much better and the reason why also is because i opened my telegram now and i found a message from one of the um from one of the news outlets i follow rt news and they basically came out with this article uh, about the oil reserves running low and it says stockpile forecast to dwindle to 40 years to 40 year low by october and this is a source by by bloomberg now I want to go more into depth with this, in, in depth into this. Um, I would try to go into the website, but it didn't open. So basically, it says that Washington has, F, has act, actively been selling its strategic petroleum reserve, um, is the SPR, over the past year to keep energy prices from rising even higher. Now, if you guys um, went to our website a few weeks ago when it was still um, active, uh, by the way, uh, okay, so I had a up I had a, 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 a blog up there um, regarding a crude awakening where I explained why oil will eventually plummet and crash. All right, so um, just quick, a, quick, a quick update on the website. The reason why the website is currently uh, down is because we're upgrading our website to a much, much more sophisticated level, especially for our clients. So our clients will have logins, you know, and things like that. So the reason why it's not up right now is because we, we're working on it. And if we constantly update the site, you know, to, to check if it's functioning, it's going to glitch while other people are on the site. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, with oil, if we look at the age we're living in, like you guys know me, um, I always look deep into, you know, the, into history, our present, and what's going to happen in the future. Because I believe the most important thing is knowing the future. Because if you don't know where you're heading, you are bound for disaster, if that makes sense. Now, if you look at the current world we're living in, you know, just a quick example on oil. Now, um, right now we're on TVC, the liquidity provider right here. And as you can see, the name of this beer is US Oil. Now, the reason why um, the war in Russia and so forth, the sanctions and so forth is happening is because it's all, it's, it's a war by control. So, the current dollar, people say it's backed on nothing, it's fiat money. So as you all know, gold money should be backed on gold, right? So there is a finite amount of gold in the world, you know, so if money is backed on that, that money will have a value. But if governments go out and print infinite billions and billions and trillions more dollars, right? Eventually the initial money that was created with the purpose will lose its value, right? This is why our parents the grandparents uh, back in the day um, used rands in this example they could buy bread for example for a few cents Bread's almost 20 rand right now right do you, do you guys see what inflation is doing and so forth now we're going to get into this we're going to get into this now it's very simple now basically what i want to teach you guys here is how to read news events while applying logic because you must understand these people who, are, who write these articles that in such a way that they want to confuse you with the words they would tell you about um prices about about inflation or the mimic example another example about about um stockpiles being low or, or, or rising you know now obviously the words lows and rising you, know, you don't know what they actually mean by rise or low understand what i'm trying to say so you have to decipher what they're saying they speak in code now it's very simple to analyze the news all you have to do is simply just go to google and type in oil news because we live in the age of information literally we have information at the at the at the at the at, at the tips of our fingers you know it's just a matter of applying uh, 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 applying some 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 effort into just reading some more you know so i have um as you guys can see so, okay so let me just make, uh, show you guys something if you search for something on google if you guys didn't know this as you can see it says all news videos and so forth if you go to news you get all the news out from you get all the news from from, from all the news outlets and if you go to more uh, sorry if you go to tools and you and you and you and, and it, it is an option it says recent you know so by, by relevance now if you're looking at the current market you don't want to be looking at something that happened a year ago you, do, you want to look at recent news um, 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 releases or past 24 hours or if you're a swing trader looking at the trade for whatever the case may be obviously now you're going to look into the past week or whatever the case because you want to be following what uh, different people are saying you know opinions and so forth because remember the herd mentality wouldn't say drive the market 
but the herd mentality is what lo is, is the people who lose in the market. So if you can know what the herd is doing, if you know the, the which direction the, the herd is losing money and why should you be losing money? And like I said, the information is right in front of you. It's just a matter of you literally looking. Um, I just wanna make sure that we're still recording uh, because as you guys know, I've been having troubles with my mic. Oh man, come on. Okay, we're still recording, so good lovely now um as you guys can see i have two other tabs open now. i just want to just cover this so as you can see the perfect storm in the oil markets called uh, a good market of god wow you know oil slumped six percent now as you guys can see there's a lot of things coming out now about oil going down and so forth now those of those of you who follow us and so forth will know that we we took a nice trade on the i wouldn't call the highest highs but um you know close to the high which oil made last week now you know a lot of people got in later at a later stage but obviously you know that's people who either are currently in drawdown and so forth and so forth so i just want to go more deeper into this um which ones did i okay so usually also you want to look at news outlets which are i wouldn't say well known but like that has a reputation to uphold which means they cannot give you um an input to say news outlets that a lot of people read it means more cheap, you know. So CBC, that's a very reliable news source. Let's go to the, let's see what they say. So this is um, Canada, and the reason why I want us to look at this is because okay, so it's my networks to to load the page. Okay, um, oh man. Okay, so this is a uh, CBS News. This is uh, this is in the US. So gas pipe, uh, gas prices are poised are poised for the first weekly drop since April. Now another thing I explained um in the beginning when this when the, when, when we first started recording this video, like the oil market is imbalanced. The oil market is imbalanced because there was so manipula so much manipulation and personal interest and corruption involved with the movement of the price. Let me explain. Let me let me let me let me explain what, what I mean by this. In 2020, the oil market crashed, right? Um, that was during a lockdown and you know things like that. So it made sense why the market dropped because now I'm into work. You know there was there was no activity on the financial markets. If that makes sense, right? Now I just want to make another example here, real quick, just to show you guys where um the power in the people lies, like. When, when 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 we got locked down that that um first only one days and whatever markets crashed worldwide but ask yourself why is that because we are the majority and we control the market the only difference is the people with the money they must lead us to do certain things and then this is why it's called um when you trade they man they manipulate and they stop and so forth and then the, 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 the timing is really important you know hence they, they grab liquidity they look for a weakness in the market that's how they profit right now with that said we are the strength if that makes sense in a sense of like if 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 everyone noticed okay i'm it's a, this is beyond trading you know uh, it, but if you think about it like in in, in a sense of poverty and things like that not everyone can trade you know not everyone can invest because they can't wait for a return in six months because they need to eat today you know and um unfortunately like this is the world we live in but you see in the end light and love always wins and what i mean by this is there's currently a lot of inequality with especially with just oil for example because think about think about how gas prices petrol prices has gone up look at the price of bread look at the price of cooking oil and so forth you know we have an effect on the real world we have an effect on the real world and the moment everyone understands this and we can all trade in line with the market we all can make a profit there's more than enough money for everyone the only thing is the only thing is sustainability you know and the moment we can sustain ourselves that's when that's when we, we, we can we, we can make the world a better place but apart from, from teaching um let's get deeper into this oil um into this oil market so um american motorists can expect a minor relief with gas with gasoline prices uh, uh 
with gasoline prices said to drop said said drop in the first weekly in, in in the first weekly drop in more than two months and declining oil prices and a dip in consumer demand notice what i just spoke about a dip in consumer demand we are the consumers and i'm trying to say now um oil already tumbled today so the market is driven here it's, it's as i said more than it's a, it's a bloodbath you know so there's a lot of what there's a lot to worry about about global recessions you know which will cause a big slowdown now if you guys have been following us, i've been talking about this since the beginning of COVID, the great reset and how we'll own nothing and we'll be happy if we don't take action you know and if you don't invest and secure some assets for yourself some way somehow you will be left behind because this is one of those times in history where the rich will get richer and the poor will get poorer and there's also time in history where where uh how can i put it where people make um where people usually make investments that make them become millionaires billionaires etc you know now i'm not promising anything like that to happen you know i'm showing you guys a simple logical way to approach and invest the market now um the national average for gallon on regular uh, demand is five thousand friday and, and after three days after it hitting its all-time peak of nearly 502 dollars okay so i'm not going to go more deeper into that but as you guys can see oil basically affects everything even our gasoline right now a drop in the oak and in, in, in the crude oil a coupled coupled with the first weekly weekly dip in the month after the first week's, week's increases should uh, should offer at least some short term respite from the from, from, from the record high gas prices now this goes back to what steve murdo explained how market makers have asserted there's also laws that apply to them they can't play that, that's so i want to say they can't play god but they can't play god because they created this but um there is certain laws in place in the sense of like they can't they can't for example crash a country's economy at will just because they want to you know that's illegal you know so uh but the the idea i'm trying to bring across and show you guys is that there will be ba balances will be made in the market which i explained in the beginning there's an imbalance on the market now i hope this page has loaded yet okay so if this is uh, this is the most important thing i, I want to cover so forget the interest rate hikes and so forth and so forth right so inflation is hitting six with inflation hitting 6.8 percent central bankers are rising interest rate, are hiking interest rates but that might not do the job this is what i said in the beginning you know by printing more money it becomes less valuable you know so rising interest rates will increase borrowing costs and slow the economy but they won't address one of the biggest drivers of inflation fossil fuel costs this is good look at what fossil fuels has look at what these people have done to our our planet over the past few decades change engines over they've been destroying our planet and now you have people like the davos group and, and and the un and so forth you know pushing sustainability and and, and you know climate change and so forth when they were the people who created this problem in the first place you know but I, what i want you to understand is these people are not dumb they know exactly what they're doing there's a reason why they are in power now we all see the effect fossil fuels and so forth has on, the, on, on our lives and so forth. Eventually, the world will transition into free energy because free energy does exist. Research Nikola Tesla, go, go deep into the history of Egypt, hence why we are called Pharaoh Marcus. Go, go deep into the history of Egypt and the, and, and the pyramids and how the, the, and how the pyramids sustain free energy. And, 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 you know, it's, 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 it's mind blowing. To see how far we've come in in, in society but uh, 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 these things are not due to us you know so the the u.s um the chairman of the of the of the of the u.s federal reserve the people now you must also understand that if you for example make any transaction internationally online you pay in dollars right now if you go back to the history and okay i, I, I don't i don't want this decision to go this far but i want you guys to understand like what drives the market this is this deeper things which 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 always drives the market now in the in the beginning was britain and they eventually moved to the new roman empire which is the which is the usa hence this is why the dollar is the strongest now this guy who was the federal reserve bank where they print all these dollars out of thin air took a dramatic a step of increasing borrowing costs sorry about that by increasing borrowing costs by uh where am i Oh, I lost it. I went off topic now. Oh, I've lost. I've lost the link. <sighs> Sorry about that. Anyway, 
So um, this guy who works for the for the US Federal Reserve took the mathematics of, of increasing borrowing costs by 0.75 percent, and a move from Canada is expected is expected to follow. He said the move will slow demand and get yeah, and and help get jobs out on the market too. Look, the important word to use here for market to balance out. Right now, um, I want you guys to really pay attention to the small, like I said in the beginning of the of the video as well, the smallest terminologies they use. Okay, I can't open my um thingy now, but let's quickly see something. Uh, uh, forex factory. So I just want to um, make sure when we have a news event coming up, but we'll go into the charts, we'll, 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 we'll go a deep into the charts in a, in a second. I'll just spend five more minutes talking about some theory and, you know, things like that. Um, so going back to the second link where I spoke about the gas prices going down, uh, this is, <laughs> if you complain, about, if, you, if you are a trader, for example, you know, I'm sure you have people, um, you know i complain about the petrol prices and the gas prices and so forth but this is a chance like guys we're not a lot of people whatever the case we don't have billions of dollars like these people do but the the least we can do is try and uh try and see these moves right for example let's say price goes to a resistance even if if the herd really if the herd really traded together you know at the right time and so forth we can move the market now what i'm trying to uh, uh, the point i'm trying to make with this is like um you'll see over the over the next few months weeks maybe uh, uh, how gas prices will just start to drop because like i said uh it market has to eventually balance itself out and like it, remember oil is 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 a natural thing it's not man-made it's a spiritual element you know, so this is why, like, uh, 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 doesn't matter what a human does to it, even if it does manipulate it, it will have an effect. If you study the cabal, cause and effect is everything in, in, in this world, right? Now, um, okay, I'm done talking about conspiracies now. Okay, let's just look at the upcoming news events. Over here we have oil. And like I said in the beginning as well, notice how they, uh, listed as US oil as if the US is the main driver of oil when Russia puts out two thirds of the world's oil. It's a very weird world we're world living in. Please wait for my network to Okay, so first things first we wanna change the Okay. Sunday Okay, we don't have any news for CAD, like an interest rate. Uh, but we do have CPI, Consumer Price Index. That, remember what I said um, earlier with the, with, the, with the oil things? Uh, so, you know, we are consumers, so I can definitely expect a move on oil, I, I mean on, on CAD um, on Wednesday. But I'll, I'll, break, um, I'll break CAD down in... in, in um, the next video i'm gonna do this in two parts okay so let's jump into this let's analyze this market i don't know if you guys noticed um <laughs> i really have so much more energy i just started a lot in my videos it's a thing i've been starting with ever since i was a kid um but the more you know you fall in line with your purpose and knowing what you do the more content you also become okay so this is oil uh as you can see this gray box from uh one from 114 dollars up until 110 111 dollars it says over here mob this is a monthly order block now under 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 one hour chart we see a clean break through the order block now it, it broke the zone after a very long time uh let me so do a four hour 
Now, obviously, because it broke below, that means on the four hours, well, we will see a nice clean break below, right? So, this, in my opinion, this this is very good news. This is very good news because compared to all the news events we just read and so forth and so forth, people talking about oil dropping and whatever the case, how Steve also teaches us, you trade at the high, trade at the low. So right now, oil is at the high, right now. As you guys know, the sun over here, this was the high of this year. Now, obviously, there's a lot of liquidity trapped over there. And, okay, as you guys can see, they don't go all the way up there because, obviously, you can't release the buyers, people who bought out of greed, not knowing if they buy, they're going to make gas more expensive. So, I'm just going to put this line on you, though, just so we can have an idea. Okay, so as you can see, price didn't go there, you know, not even close. So I, don't, I if there was at least a stop line over here, you know, it would be more clear. But um, the fact that they didn't even attempt to um, make a wick over here, like, it clearly shows that, you know, um, you know, they got what they wanted. Now, what I'm going to do is, I don't necessarily want to take all this off. But let's do it. Let's do it. Let's break down the market from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the weekly chart. And what I'm going to do is... This is a pattern, a very interesting pattern. If you look at... Um, the market maker method. Uh, this is a pattern that occurs every of it's it occurs very often on smaller time frames. It's very it's my it's my, it's my first time seeing it on on, on the weekly. But uh, you know patterns like this usually indicate that you know it was a week over at the a week over the bottom, week over the top. You know eventually this big move must become this big move all the way down. You know so let me zoom in a little bit more so you can focus on where the market is currently at. Okay, so, as we know, this is the high of the year, and I'm also kind of, I hope those of you guys are just random, those of you guys who don't know, um, who are still struggling with the platform today, please pay attention to the tools I use and like how I analyze my charts, right, because like I explained as well, it's art, man, you know, it's different for everyone. I like when I look at my charts, they must speak to me, you know, I want to read on it and, you know, I think that's just, you know, exactly what I'm doing. So, I usually then, then label this is the high of the year. Or I could make it shorter and say 2022 high. Now, the first break of structure we had, um, you know, as you can see, we had, you know, we went up, we cleaned up, we made a low, and this is was when market crashed, right? As you guys can see, this was 2020 when the market crashed. Now, they have no value, that no value just shows you how everything, you know, out there is controlled, manipulated, and we can have an effect on it. Now to go just to go a little bit deeper into it, I'm gonna so now be hundred percent sure. Put in the line chart W. I see that as a level one. And I kind of see price move up. See this is level two. Now obviously this is level three consolidation. Right? Now let me just um say this again, uh, going to more depth. Um, this is an old way to analyze my charts and count my levels, so it's interesting to show you guys this again. I usually make this green, my level 3. Level 3, W formation. Okay, and then we have push, and usually in level 1 consolidation, 
we have a straightaway trade and we don't really see uh, such a long obviously always this is a big time frame so you're gonna wait long for consolidation but um the idea stays the same how you count your levels etc level one now initially uh you would then see a straightaway trade where this is obviously your neckline of your w formation right now if you were to scare to trade this to be honest this is one of the reasons why i didn't make money on this this is why i'm not a millionaire i wanted to buy oil 2020 but i didn't buy because i remember this when price broke this this neckline it never came back to retest it because in the level consolidation this is what price usually does it it would retest the neckline of level three you know and then you would have had this move if you honestly look at this on 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 any uh, uh, of your other charts and so forth you would see that this right away occurs either this becomes a flag pattern or a flag pattern or yeah you have your you have straightaway trade which occurs um as a pin over here and if you have to if you have to add your indicators as well just to show you an example you know so a moving average one two three so just to also edit the market maker settings on here I really hope you guys don't um, get bored with the session because it is very different but I really want to go and so much I'm going to explain so many things to you guys you know why it will happen and why I'm so confident it will happen but also um, I want to I want you guys to to really level up your trading in so many ways oh, it's been so long man come on Okay, so the 13 EMA is usually red and we use exponential moving averages which is an EMA and then we have the 13 EMA which is also exponential and I usually make that blue or aqua oh no Okay, but now where is the red EMA? Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. The, the 50 EMA should be the, 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 blue EMA, the blue EMA is 50, sorry. The 50 EMA. And then obviously you have your. Um, I have the free version of, of, of Trading View, so I, 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 don't ha I can't add another indicator, but it's purple. You know, it's 800 EMA. But we don't really need that one right now. So, as I explained in, in um, other videos, how you know that you are in level 1 consolidation is when the 13 EMA crosses the 50 EMA. Now, it crossed a little bit late on the, on the, on the, on the weekly, but if you think about it, if you think about it, like if price obviously came down for the neckline, you know, it would have made this happen so much quicker. You know, this is why it's very important to not use it as 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 um to trade against them or trade with them but like use them as your guide now okay i'm going go a little bit deeper into this that's level one and then in level two consolidation we have the longest consolidation and we see patterns all right i usually make this purple Now what I mean by patterns is usually you would have like trend lines and stuff. You know, so something like that. And then we have something like that. Or in some okay, not at all, but in most cases I usually just clone my um my uh, uh come on man and i added back to that same point 
and you kind of also see a pattern there right so you would see you most likely see candles how they reacted so as you can see on this uh let me just make it a little bit bigger so you would see that um on this initial line over here how price came came back it retested by the retest it broke broke below retested you know and went above so as you can see like you know there's so many ways you can trade but uh it's just a matter of timing approach and you know uh, uh finding your pattern and then another thing in level three we usually experience choppy movement now as you can see once again over here we have choppy movement for this level three consolidation and as you can see we have one two three pushes into the high right now choppy movement see it wick broke above um like steve explains uh on the m15 go in the most hold the 15 minutes get out of there so in this, this in this case they went in there for a week i had for a week and got out of there in a week right now like they usually would make this one blue now this is a cool way you can learn to count your levels you know um practice you know practice makes perfect so i'm just gonna remove all these things so you guys know that we are on level three there's no need to fear we just should follow the trend now come on okay now let's go back to where we will be here this 2022 is high all right now this is the initial high you see in the line chart now remember like i said the line chart is your friend because it shows you the, the true support resistance all right now if i make i'm gonna add another line over here and make it slightly greener and i'm gonna just label this one as true high because remember the stop ons is all manipulation as we explained right stop ons is there to pick up orders it's, manip it's manipulated uh, pushes on the market now that's the true high and if you just go a little bit deeper into this make it a little bit bigger now at some point like for example this is really long now this was in july uh came all the way down in august went all the way up in october now in october we had a new high last year right in the last few quarters now initially if you use ict or just any other uh, if you look at it from a technical perspective this was the resistance point right now make it more straight And this is what we call a break of structure. So a BOS. And if we have to look at the way price moved up from here, the last order block was somewhere around the zone. Now initially. okay so once again my tools i used the gan box but what i did was i took out all the other levels so i only have the bottom the 50 percent and the top now the 50 percent is the equilibrium and this is where you expect move so just a quick example if you use this as an order block that on the scandal literally three weeks later if you came back and you touched the equilibrium you could have taken that trade and caught that move right does it make sense um so initially this is what we're targeting we're waiting for price to hit this point and when price reaches this point at 73 dollars per barrel we should see some you know a rejection and kind of go up you know continue the trend and then you know correct itself a little and then i believe over the long run we will see a drop further below but 
just to give you guys an, an idea of you know how you work from a big time frame to a lower time frame so this is my target on oil now let's go a little bit deeper go on a weekly i mean on, on a daily chart Okay, what's happening here now? All right, perfect. Sorry about that. Okay, so in a case like that, now obviously if you look at the size of this block, you know, this is a lot of money on oil, you know, if <laughs> like if you take a trade that big, for example, you can make a lot of money. Now, obviously, you don't want to block that big say what you can do is you can refine it a little bit. Now, if you refine it based on the, uh, 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 how can I put it, the previous pushes right when price was initially pushed up i would say so from here on i would then refine the zone to more this this candle because if you think about it if you think about it this was the order block zone but this is where the liquidity took off now there's a lot of liquidity orders down here. Now the people who have bought at the order stock down here, and if they don't take their profit, they'll still either break even or stop loss will be hit if they keep on holding and take their profit. Now as you can see, it's a little bit a little bit smaller now, but more workable, more manageable. You know, because now it's like it's like literally um, two times smaller. But we'll, we'll refine it even more if we have to. So then obviously we're just gonna change this and now we have to focus more or less on so now we know this is the target and we refined it but now we have to focus on what is actually happening over here now as you guys can see on this candle over here we had some manipulation or if you look at it from a how can i put it if this was one, two, three pushes, right? Like Steve teaches us, this was a reversal candle. That means we would have taken the trade here and sell. Correct? But we see one, two, three more pushes. Now that to me, obviously that's more, manip more manipulation because then look how big this candle was and took out literally all this, this whole three days movements and took you all the way back down to your initial entry where it was supposed to be. Now, if you trade it back, back then, at this point and you took this you then would have then initially then waited for what i do is on such a big shift candle i take i measure it from the high to the low and then you would see the box also has a a midpoint now notice over here this midpoint, how price almost went there, but it didn't, right, but it didn't, it didn't. Now that's fine, that's not really a problem per se, because even if you just waited for that retracement and waited for price to break below this on a smaller time, you could have taken the trade and you have made, you know, made profit. Now, an interesting thing that happened was, uh, if you look at uh, what happened over here, this was a liquidity run. This is why I also say liquidity is trapped over here because if you look at it from this perspective, for example, over there to uh, using that more or less, you would have seen a uh, some type of manipulation happening here as well and 
Just gonna double check what I'm seeing now. Okay, okay. Now let me just explain what happened in this more quickly. As you guys can see here, right? This is liquidity. This is the line chart. First touch, second touch. Notice how the candles react, right? It breaks above, breaks above, breaks above. Now notice on the trend line how initially if it breaks below, it means you must now selling. Am I correct? But if it if the move is not valid per se, for example, sometimes for this way, so sometimes you, you would take a trade on, 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 on a on a trend line, eh? it will break below or above. But if the trend line bounce, rejection, retest doesn't work, that means it will go back into the trend. This makes sense. But now think about it this way. This was the confirmation candle, right? If you think about it from perspective of a wick, right? Track liquidity. Now, if this was the the order block zone, if market makers didn't have enough what they wanted at this point, because this is where was where liquidity is, they would have grabbed more. Now, from that push, obviously, there's more orders trapped there. Does it make sense why? When price went up and came back to this point, it retested the zone and went up. All right now, uh, um, I hope that makes sense. But I want you to notice when price initially then came back to this point, and then it did touch the midpoint of this shift candle. This is the other thing about patience. You know, some people would literally wait for this thing to touch here. Like for example, sometimes me. And if it doesn't, it doesn't touch. You even take the trade. And you know, eventually it did, and you take profit then if you saw this would have been the deep would have been hit. But now notice again over here, you know, price hit it once, two, three. Very important, you don't buy the fourth bounce because the fourth bounce doesn't hold. Because that means when price comes down now, this will be the fourth bounce, but it won't hold. And so I'm trying to say I know I'm jumping out a bit, but I'm giving us a very, very in depth explanation of what's happening here. Let's remove this quickly. Go a bit deeper into this. Now, this is obviously, as you guys can see, uh, some choppy movement, choppy movement, choppy movement. Now, let's go to a smaller time frame. But first, I want to mark up this zone too. Because this is an order block, right? If you guys know the theory, if price, the, if price is bearish, the last bullish candle is the order block. If price is bullish, the last bearish candle is the order block, right? Same anomaly, yeah. Uh, don't worry, we're going to cover all these things again when we are uh, on, on a, in the future. We'll do this for as long as we have to. So notice again, I explained about this box. Notice how when price came back to this point, it went to the equilibrium, the 50%, and then dropped. Right now, that alone like shows an amazing uh, uh, movement. Like once again, like I said, this is this is way too big, you know, to actually um, place a stop loss. <laughs> like unless you have a massive account, but uh, let's go a little bit further into this because now you have to supply and demand zone for the for the. So as you can see now, you have the supply and demand zone for the for the. Uh, 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 For the for 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 where price is currently trapped in. Now I just want to go back. Um, and I just want to see because I remember I had a, a monthly order block here somewhere. I just want to explain that quickly because I remember I mentioned. Don't get confused. And oh, okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. I think that order block was somewhere taken from, I think it was taken from here, that order block. And I refined on the 4 hour all the way back in the year over the, in, in 2013. I'm not gonna go back that far right now. But I want you guys to understand, like, you know, the refinement, if you have your, if the, if the order block is too big on the entire time, if I'm going to smooth and refine, 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 until you have, like, the perfect zone to trade from. Now, let's go a little bit more back. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. 
we go. Okay, we have a nice information, etc. etc. Um, see, even if you took it a step further and maybe made it like this, still stay it through a high and. You know, still price still went they didn't touch the equilibrium but i just want to show you guys something um you know so if price is bearish and this could have been block or the block zone you know and price didn't make it all the way that high now um i'm gonna explain i'm gonna, I'm gonna go into a more into depth over here If you look at it this from this way, because now we're in the four hour. So the begin we now in June. It's the beginning of June. Now make this grey. It's the beginning of the month. Now oh yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I now know where the order block was which I was which I was refer no I'm I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> but okay, there's still order there was an order block over here, more or less as you can see. So as you can see price broke through it. There's oh, let me put it this way, let me put it this way. Why is it this is an order block? Because this was still the beginning of the month. And there was also the low of the month. So if I just put this on here, you know, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Right, okay, that was low. Notice this clean break below the low of the month. I was trying to take note of this over here, the W formation and the true support resistance. And notice how when price first came back there, sorry, when, fast, when, when, when price first came back there, I was shut up and then initially came back down for the drop. But when you keep it on the low, low, and now we're purely gonna focus on what's happening over here, right? Now, this is okay, so we're gonna have to refine this once again. Okay, not really. Just um, just put a different line on here, so this becomes the this becomes June. Okay, I just want to make sure that we're still recording and in progress. Perfect. So this is June's high. And take a note because this was the beginning of June, so notice the, ma the, the manipulation that took place over here. I actually got stopped out at first on this trade, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then initially we took a better trade. Now, just to go, I'm just gonna see something real quick. The reason why I just want to go back to the uh, what I explained in the beginning of this video. So see over here, this point, this point right over here, we we see the the wick of the candle, and then we see the body break out of it, and then we see that wick. Market is imbalanced at the low at the low that is very bad like so and let me put it this way some people weren't fold in on this at this price point you know this is why i this is why i'm so adamant about like why i say it will crash because there is a huge imbalance and it's not up here imbalance is not up it's way at the bottom and something something was overlooked all these months since 2020 and not only our uh, 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 People starting to wake up and 
obviously um, governments will start enforcing these laws and stuff like that. Now, I just want to go back real quick. To my month. I want you guys to remember that this is... Maze low. So, first things first, price must come here. It's gonna come test this level out some way, somehow. And, um, the way, what, what I currently see happening here is, um, like I said, it's it's very hard to say if there's any order blocks within these zones because the only thing I know for sure why, why price will bounce here is because of this um, candle. So this will become a very smaller, how can I put it, um, supply demand zone or support resistance, whatever you want to call it. Right, so this will be a point of interest when price comes here. So, Still very far from the price is currently at, but like you know, it just shows that also we could see moves happening somewhere around here. And the other thing is, see why it's very important because look here, uh, break below, break, break below the low. Now, like I said, we will see some retracement and then drop. You know, same is gonna happen here. You're gonna see a drop below the low. It's gonna hit the order block, this uh, the support level, this blue, this can box. It's gonna hit this point. We're going to see uh, some type of movement to the upside and then drop again, you know, so it's going to be a very slow trend as well because I closed the, 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 the tab with the thingy. Remember what the article said? It will take, it will slow down the economy, but it will bring more jobs into it. What I see also explained, the market maker move is a slow move. Now, like I can't make, I, you can't even make this up, you know, the moment you see it, it's like you can't unsee it. Okay, first of all, I think I must just, okay, I can leave it there. Now, as we know, this was Yeah, I always get confused like with supply and demand, which one is the top, which one is the bottom. <laughs> but, um, say this was the, um, I'm just gonna call it the order block, so you guys don't get confused either. So, order blocks so don't make this a, a nice color. So, you know, it fits. So, as you guys can see, it broke below this point right now at the moment. But, what I currently see over here is, we're still going to see some movements. Okay, we have a high, we have a lower high. So, we could eventually see a lower high being formed. Right? Now, this is what's currently happening over here. Now, let me just explain last moves, last week's move as well. Um... 20th tomorrow, which means Monday was, um, the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Now, according to the weekly structure, we had a price break above, right? Like I explained to you guys, we got stopped out in this trade. And the weekly structure is I've something I've covered so many times with you guys. It's on my YouTube channel. Everyone can watch it. Like the weekly structure teaches that if price is to the upside, we sell. If it's the downside, we buy. Now, just gonna make a small example here, real quick. You know, just gonna throw a quick box over here and explain that theory. With the breakout to the upside, we had one, two, three candles in the candle zone, and notice how how perfectly this high was made here. So this is where we sold. And we got stopped out on this move, right? We stopped out on it. Now, then obviously market makers ran the high again, because also the reason why we took this trade is because it was based on, oh my leg sleeping. It was also based on this. You know, so that shows you clear manipulation there. You know, 
I'm not saying I, I don't want to bash technical players anymore and stuff like that. You know, I respect everyone in the way they trade. Um, whatever, honestly, like I'm at that point in my life right now. Whatever works for you, I'm happy for you. You know, so um, I'm not bashing trade and trades, but I'm just showing you also how how um trade lines are sometimes reliable. You know, but if you know what you're doing, this is why your risk reward plays a very very big role because I could stop out. I didn't feel it. My 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 both my TPs were hit, for example. You know, so. Why would I worry about one stop loss? <laughs> uh, let's go a little bit more deeper into this. So we're gonna have a new, a new, uh, 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 a new week coming in. Let's make this yellow so people just know what we <laughs> looking at. So I expect price to come, consolidate into this zone, and most likely, it depends, it depends. I would like to see price break to the upside, so I can sell again. You know, I'm not, I'm not trading based on a belief, but it only makes sense because if, uh, well, even if price breaks to the downside, you know, it will be a very big move to the downside, and if they hit, hit, if they hit this point, it will make sense why to buy it back up, as a retest, and then sell again, right? All these type of things, you know, guys will start. Um, this is why I also say find a pair which works for you and then um, from there on obviously you have a better understanding of, 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 of how to uh, 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 trade it and so forth. So if I just have to analyze this again based on what we saw previously. Oh, I'm confusing myself here by thinking too much. Okay, so over here, we see at low. So, it didn't break, but I, this is a change of character. Because uh, initially you would have equal lows or equal highs. Change of character. The reason why I also said is because you have a wick, so we're supposed to, but there's also, also the thing, I problem I have with ICT is the way they teach and what they teach, you know, the terminologies and stuff like that, so otherwise, um, so initially then, this would obviously be like the liquidity, as I explained just now. Or as you guys saw when we first had this thing open. Because it made sense, right? Because this was Monday. I moved to the upside. Tuesday, moved to the upside. So, <laughs> and if you also look at it on a one hour chart. This is one, two, three levels of rise. Just, uh, just like Steve t teaches. And then, I can't remember where exactly we got into this trade. But we got in somewhere around here, yeah, you know, when price came back into the zone. But yeah, uh, then we had Wednesday, consolidation, market continued to trend. So as you guys can see here, once again, during the week we had one, two levels of drop as well. And then, so that W formation and you could sell and the end of the week in the sell up, you know. Now, as you guys can see, okay, so initially what I saw here is I see an imbalance right over here at the true high. Here's the other thing. The moment you analyze your charts in line with what market is doing, everything will start adding up. It just is it's because like it's like in it, like I've explained like the stock market is explained it's controlled by humans we 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 uh, we, buy, we um react based on human emotions etc you know so uh we, we are still made of nature and nature will always find a way to balance itself out so just gonna put it in here imbalance so we don't know one so we know it's a one hour imbalance all right so I still expect price to kind of come here I wouldn't be surprised if guys goes there because like, this is track liquidity, man. You know, this is liquidity. People have been selling, 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 selling. 
Now, I want you to notice that they didn't do anything here. This is why when I made the prediction as you saw in the beginning, we had a line going all the way up here and then sell because the market makers, I believe, must still take out these sellers. But if they don't, it's fine. If they keep on dropping, it's fine because that's what my buyer says. They must drop, you know. This is why you must not react, but I mean, not predict and like um, commit yourself to it. Must move from there, you know. But react what's given, find all the potentials, look at look at society, look at the economy, look at what, what, what people are saying, look at what, 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 what the herd is doing, and eventually if all these things shall be revealed to you. Um, so I don't want to make it a little too long. We're in an hour now. So let's go deeper into this. Like I said, so we all know that. So let me just go a little bit more deeper into this as well. This was Friday. So this was Friday's high. Oh no. This was Friday's high. Like on the I always make my, my previous days high like on the like on the software PDM software, you know, with the with the um the dotted line. Now, like I explained, I wouldn't be surprised if price comes back here. Because it makes sense. There's still people track out here from Friday. If it's Monday, for example, if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, midweek reversal drop. You know, um, same thing like if they want to make a big move still, if they make a fake move beginning of week and they buy all the way up here next week just to scare us, you know, I wouldn't be surprised either. You know, but that's why I say always have a kind of like an idea what the market will do. So let me just go back on. Let me see what happened in the daily. Okay, so we don't really have. Uh, okay, so as you can see, imbalance was fold on the daily. So I'm not quite sure if. Um, price might go there because of like like i said uh we could see a fall let's go a little bit more deeper into this yeah so this is still an imbalance zone which i which i believe um market has to hold but like i said i wouldn't necessarily sell from um these points because it isn't something let me put it in, let me do this let me do this let me do this this might be different because it's a strong move so this might be a order block slash supply demand zone i make this different color just so we know that um we should kind of avoid it not um of not avoid it but like uh just be mindful to see what the price does when it gets to that point, All right? So, um, initially, um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But so far, what I see is I see two potentials. No, come on. I see two potentials. I see a buy and a sell. So if price would come. Okay, so like I said, we'll take out my slow, and I'm just gonna put this. Don't <laughs> don't stress when you see it's this big stop loss because obviously it depends on market market does. So if market re if market makes a reversal here, makes a reversal here, makes a reversal here, you know you just adjust this thingy of yours, your 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 take profit and stop loss thing. But you always I always put it here so when it reaches it, I prepare for my trade. It makes sense, you know. So I see price going. Up, taking out the the money and hitting the and hitting the imbalance and then I see price continuing back down. Oh no! No, so I also see price coming down. So literally, you can trade both ways on this. Literally, like. I mean, this is why I also say you don't need a lot of pairs. Find a pair which you love 
and you know if it if you know if price comes back win that if win price comes here and drops <gasps> must drop all the way make so much money and make so much money i'm so excited for this coming week but um initially if this doesn't happen i expect price to then first do something like this and then i'm just quickly gonna you know draw a little something something over here So initially I'll then stick something like this and then you know drop till day you know something something like something like this I wanna see that or don't get confused I wanna see price <laughs> I'm gonna throw it over this and then if it now here's the thing if price if price goes up first, if price comes here first, and then comes here, I will still look to buy it because it must correct. But then, I believe it will correct somewhere around here to form um. Because this this is a higher low, a higher low, and it'll make a higher low. You see, so as long as you can see potential trend, also like you know, you should be good to go. You should be good to go, and then eventually, must now obviously, if price comes there, then we continue the sell off and then you will be selling from here again so there is three potential trades for this this week and that's just one pay and that's just predicting potential biases you know so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video on oil uh there's so much more other things i want to talk about but uh the more we do this the more we're gonna the more i'll cover a lot more things you know i really want us all to be on the same page with i don't say you should believe what i believe but um I believe what I believe is fact because like the powers that be they tell us what they're gonna do I haven't been wrong this far about COVID about um, the war I've been great about a lot of things um, as they say in the world of Wall Street um, don't judge me by my winners but judge me because I have so few losses or so few incorrect predictions if that makes sense so yeah, I really go. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Enjoy this. If you guys have any questions regarding this pay and oil, like you know, uh, this isn't the best analysis or whatever. But like you know, as long as you guys can see what's happening. Oh yeah, another another important thing. Another important thing. Another important thing. Now, with this set over here, né, we have a break of structure. So initially, the break of structure, you would have. Uh, you, your order block price would break the loan. This order block. Now, like I said. I don't believe this will be a valid order block because of the liquidity that's that's trapped there. I believe market will spike the liquidity and get out of there. So those who think that they're running in profit and they're gonna turn away their heads, you know, don't turn your head on oil. This is my mistake I made in 2020. I could have caught, I could have caught a move all the way from $20, you know. So and all of us could. So really, yeah, yeah, really hope you guys enjoy this and then I uh, will drop the next video um, later tonight. Or tomorrow morning it all depends on maybe maybe i'll let you guys watch this first and maybe you guys can give me the recommendation which you guys want, want to see next so until next time guys see you